I was just looking at here else is looking at some money. Twenties and fifty thousand won, which is only like forty seven or forty five American dollars. But I don't really know anything about money. I really don't. I don't know anything about money. Uh I know that you need it to buy stuff and I know in order to get money you got to have a job or hit the lottery or be an entrepreneur but when it comes to my money makes money what the what I don't know anything about no money making money like how would my money make money or I got all these bills so I had I have no idea I just know that I need this stuff right here to pay all these bills and I really don't have no money in savings. I really don't have any investments, uh, anything I can really cash out in emergency. If I could have an emergency, I, I'm too broke to have an emergency. I mean, <laughs> don't laugh at my pain, but I'm saying I don't have enough money to have an emergency if something would happen. Because I don't really know anything about money. You know, I really wish that there was a source, a feed, a blog, a channel, something I can go to to learn all about money. But do I have the time? Yeah, I, I really do think I had the time to learn about money, which essentially this is a thing that, you know, runs the world. People say people run the world, but people with money run the world. I mean, it's opinionated. That's my opinion. Um, money makes the world go round or it sits on its X and Y axis and the gravitational pull. <laughs> I'm getting off of that one, but I don't know anything about money. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. What if you didn't know anything about money? The only thing you knew about money was getting a job, paying your bills, and then spending it all, which some of you people already do. Shame on you for not, for not reaching out, stretching in order to learn about money. I started this channel, if I can recall, back in October. I haven't been on YouTube that long, but I've been very passionate. Even my wife knows I'm very passionate about giving you guys all this information and trying to be really creative in my approach to attract more people to get this information. Now, I don't know why everybody else has their channel, and I really don't care. What I care about is you. You getting the information, okay? You getting the information, and then applying that information, and you being profitable. You being profitable. Not money to show, because I did one on, remember, show money? No money. This money should be in the bank making money. Well, I'll take some out and um, get something to eat and... Why do I got this money anyway? Anyway, this is the thing. If you didn't know anything about money, I have been trying to tackle everything that I possibly can in order for you to get the money. Yes, it requires your time. Some of my videos are three minutes. Some of my videos are 15 minutes. It's only 15 minutes. If you was calling Geico, you can get lower your insurance in 15 minutes. And no, my disclosure is no. I don't work for Geico and I don't care if you go get the insurance or not, okay? That's just an example. If you can watch your television show, which is an hour or 40 minutes without commercials, <laughs> then you can listen to my ass, give you free financial information and apply it to make more money than you would if you didn't listen to me. So that is the thing. Apply this information. Use this information. Start slow. Start easy. Start small. I don't want you to put all your money into investments. I don't want you to put all your money into savings. But guess what? If you had a direct deposit, your money is going inside of a bank anyway. Why not have your money to make money in a high-yield savings account that requires nothing but you to go into a computer and do-do-do-do-do-do and switch some stuff and it's now making money? Because some of you have your money in Bank of America and Wells Fargo, and USAA, and Navy Federal, and all these banks through all these little community towns and small towns and big cities. And guess what they're doing for you? 
<laughs> Guess what they doing for you? I wait. Shit. They ain't doing shit for you. Look at the interest rate on your account. 0 0.15. What the hell are you going to do with that? Pennies on a dollar. What are you going to do with that? But I've been giving you the information, guys. I've been giving you the information in order for you to make money. Even on your savings account. Even on your bonds. Remember government bonds? Remember tips? Those treasury inflated protection security bonds that during inflation times, they help you to, um, to, to match inflation so you don't lose money? This is what I'm talking about, people. What if you didn't know about money? Go back on my channel. Don't be scared. I know. I know. I have a lot of damn videos. The other day, or maybe it was a week ago, I looked. I said, wow, I've been on YouTube less than a year, and I have over 200 videos. That's my passion. That's my passion, guys, because I figure out, if you go back and you look at all these little videos, right? Oh, I talk one. What is a share? I talk about. What is a stock? I talk about. What is an index fund? I talk about. What's a mutual fund? I talk about it. What is an ETF? I talk about it. What's compound interest? I talk about it. What's compound dividends? I talk about it. Why should I have to go and make new videos if I already made those videos and I still have a lot more information to give you? The only thing you have to do is do some research. History, right? History. We always learn about history so we don't repeat it. So we have a better future. Then go look at my history of videos. What if you didn't know about money? On my channel, you will learn about money. And you will learn how to use your money effectively. You will learn how to use your money to make money. And yes, yeah, there's a lot of people on YouTube, on Facebook, talking about money. And we all have different personalities. We all have different styles. But one thing I want to stay true to you is give you the information that's pertinent, that's vital, that's uh, a very serious in your life. This is serious stuff, guys. And this is not to be played with. This information, it's so important for you not only to soak it up, not only for you to digest it, it's important for you to apply it, apply it to your life. You should be talking about money every single day. Some of you, you guys love these love romance books or these fantasy books, Lord of the Rings. Have your fun reading. I'm not taking away your creativity. I'm not taking away your romantic. I'm not taking away your fantasies. None of that. But every now and again, pick yourself a financial book. And I got some videos go look for them, please, about what are good books to read. Now, we talk about money and how to apply it. We also talk about what? The psychology of money. Money plays a toll on people. It stresses people the fuck out because what if you didn't know anything about money? I talk about these things because I don't want you to be stressed about money. And that doesn't mean, it doesn't matter if you make 24,000 or 104,000 because a person who's making 24,000 a year in the end of 15 to 20 years can still have more money saved up than a person with 104,000. And y'all like, hell no, nah, that shit. If I made 104,000, I had way more money in the bank. Would you? Would you? This is the thing about money. What if you put your money in the right index funds? the right individual stocks because you did your research. First and foremost, you went back and looked at some of my videos, you took some of the advice, and your money was making money this whole time while the 104,000 person, you're like, I'm gonna put it a little bit to the side, but I'm gonna spend because I, I got that six figure job, I got that six figure paycheck. Think about that. Information is so powerful that a person with 24,000 Compared to a person who makes 104000 in 10 years will have more money in the bank because of information. Information that they applied 10 years ago. See, a lot of you want to get rich quick. If you want to get rich quick, then marry a rich person. Or invent something. Or hit the lottery. 
or find some money. I was going to say rob a bank. I said, I don't believe in crime like that at all. So you should never do that. But the point I was making is do something extraordinary in order to get those riches quick. Be a professional athlete. Be a professional pianist. Be a, a professional. Be an actor. Be an actress. Do something extraordinary out of the norm in order to get those millions. These are the people who makes millions and billions. They did something extraordinary or they were lucky. Okay? But if that's not you and you're the common man or the common woman or uh, you're working on your greatness but you still want some money in the bank and, or, before you get the greatness, then slow and steady. People who try to get quick rich or rich quick... <laughs> They lose a lot of money in that process. Now, some of them have been lucky, but a lot of people have faltered. A lot of those homeless people that you say are druggies and alcoholics, yeah, they may be druggies and alcoholics now because at one point they were really rich, but they made a lot of bad decisions. Okay? The information I give here, especially if you don't know anything about money, is try to get you on the right path. And don't put all your eggs in one basket because I talk about a wide range a wide spectrum of different things because I don't want to leave anything out. Start slow, start small, and begin to build as your money builds. Listen, if you don't know anything about money, go back and look at all my videos. Look at the history of my videos and you will see the information that you can use and apply in your life. Now, granted, I have changed the way I've done videos. You'll see back then I was telling a buddy that I used to sit all the way back from a table like this and people really couldn't get that connection. Then I got a little closer and now I'm a little closer because I realized, because we're talking about psychology and our minds are connected to money, that I need to be close. And I don't have no studio. I don't have cameramen like some of the big gurus on YouTube, like Dave Ramsey, who's a very knowledgeable and intelligent guy. I wish I had a platform like him. He's pretty good, but I'm glad you guys are here. I'm different. But I get right up next to the camera. So you see everything that's going on in my face and you see the words that's coming out of my mouth. Sometimes not always the correct pronunciation, you know, got big lips. <laughs> But the psychology of this, we are connected to this thing. And I don't want you to stress out about it, even if you don't know anything about money. And whoever's in your life that you see is struggling, and the only thing they need is information because they have a job, they just don't know what to do with the money, they just spend the money, they just blow the money, then invite them to my channel and tell them, take a day, take three or four hours and just listen. And write down notes. Because this is the thing. If you're looking at my videos for entertainment. And you're not taking notes. Or you're not heeding. Or uh, trying to apply to your life. Then what's the purpose? Then what's the purpose? Because there's a lot of people on YouTube making comedy. There's a lot of fools on YouTube doing tricks. And all sorts of things. There's a lot of entertainment on YouTube. And those are the people whose channels are huge. Don't you know like the biggest channels in YouTube are people playing video games, talking about the video games, and people subscribe to them playing the video games? I would think that music, financial information channels like mine would have millions and millions of followers. And also tech. I love tech. I love Mark uh, Marquez Brownlee. He has a really good channel. He's about to reach 5 million viewers. Kudos to him. But you would think there'd be a few sectors of channels that really had a lot of followers. Especially a channel that, if you didn't know anything about money, <laughs> that he's going to teach you everything about money. So let me name it, because I'm getting off topic, but let me name these. Tech, learning tech, that's always intriguing. Health, I can see people health and working out. I can see people working out. Finances, I can see people with finances. And what's the other one I just named? Uh, entertainment. But entertainment and video games are the biggest ones. I'm off of it. If you don't know anything about money, go look at the history of my videos and enjoy. This is Ross World. My money makes money. And if you listen and apply it to your life, so will yours.
I'm out.